Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your Saturday news and pre-order uh, video uh, covering all the Forge World and Games Workshop products. Um, I want to say first of all a huge thank you to all the viewers, subscribers and patrons of the channel. I tried to change the content up um, on Wednesday to give you some video game content, a bit of a playthrough for the uh, new Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Marta game. Um, I think reception for that was was pretty good. Also um, gave you first coverage of the new White Dwarf September's edition um, towards the start of the week. I think that was uh, Tuesday actually. Um, and again, um, thank you for, for everyone that's watched that and uh, continues to um, tune into the channel. Without further ado, let's hop on over to the Warhammer Community website and uh, l let's look at the news. So since last week, um, we've had a big push with um, Kill Team and a huge focus on um, the Gellapox and the Lucidian um, Star Striders, I think they're called. So both of the two factions um, that you get in the new Rogue Trader um, game. Uh, there was another article about uh, the Dark Gods Rise and the Underhive, so they'll be bringing that into Necromunda. Um, also Kill Team, uh, focus on um, both of the new uh, kill teams, a bit about the law, um, painting the Orakai, and then Adeptus Titanicus, Duncan's War Griffins. So, uh, focus on uh, his house, and um, two warlords, an Ariva, and then uh, six knights. Pretty cool. Um, gives you some sort of color ideas. Forge World on Friday, they released uh, some new weapons for the Vansar gangs for uh, Necromunda. Um, and then again, new kill zones for uh, kill zone uh, rogue trader. Also, Black Library. There's an omnibus editions and the Outer Dark. And now there's some heroes made to order. Um, so, without further ado, let's just look at Forge World at these new weapon sets. They're here on the front page. Um, if we just go to new and we go to pre orders, there's only six, but essentially um, you've got the, uh, the Vansar gang. Rearmed number one, and then rearm number two, and then a fully shielded gang. So you pretty much got the the, the plastic box set with the the different um, weapon sets and the shield set. So you got uh, two weapon sets and one shield set. The shield set is twelve pounds, but they they do have this fancy kind of blue um, shields that they've got. Let's just have a look at this uh, weapon set number two. It says, um, look like you've got a multi melter there, um, grav gun, flamer, combi plasma gun, um, melter guns, las guns, um, hand flamers, servo, servo claws, you name it, it's all there to upgrade your Vansar gang. Weapon set one, which is actually the next one, and um, should really be the first one, but um, on here you've got some more close combat weapons like uh, power knife, servo claw, um, two flamers, uh, two grav guns. And it looks like you've got a plasma cannon there and a shock stave. That's pretty good. They're both £16. And then you've got a Vansar energy shield set, which kind of looks like you've got four shields. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah. Um, and then you've got the different uh, weapons like the last carbine and uh, plasma pistols and shock stave. So all of those are available for your Necromunda Vansar uh, gang. Um, from Forgeworld. Uh, if we go over to Games Workshop's website, um, the pre-orders for this week um, is mainly Rogue Trader. Um, I was going to get this, um, but unfortunately I won't be here uh, next weekend. Um, so if I was going to do a review, it would be you know <laughs> middle of the week, um, probably even the weekend after. So I didn't think that was right to uh, do the review so far after the release, unfortunately. Um, but uh, who knows, maybe I will get this and uh, at which point I'll do my normal unboxing and uh, review as always. So if we go to new, new and exclusive and we look at pre-orders um, and we view all and then we look at high to low, you've got the, already, you've got the, the um, Adeptus Titanicus Myrmidon Battle Manacle uh, that was available last weekend, nothing new there. But what you do have is this Warhammer Legends made to order collection, £205. Looks like you get 10 models in that, which is a fair amount. So if you're after any of these models and you want to get all of them, and um, they're pretty unique looking, uh, then now is your chance. There you go. One time only made, made to order. They might be made to order again sometime, but 
Um, obviously, you've got the Reva Titan Command Collection that was up for pre-order last weekend, and then you've got the Road Tra Trader Collection. Um, so it looks like you just get one set of uh, dice there. I don't know why the set doesn't come with dice. I don't think it does. I looked at the, the main set itself, um, which we'll have a look at now. It's £80. I think it's pretty decent. Um, you're getting the Kill Team Road Trader 56-page book. Uh, you're getting a 24 page book for Galapox, Galapox the Codex um, and a 24 page book for Lucian uh, Star Striders also includes the, the rules the Galapox infected you've got 23 miniatures pretty decent you've got a load of scenery and you also get 10 miniatures for uh, Elucidian uh, Star Striders as well um, but yeah as you can see I don't think it comes with uh, a load of dice um, which kind of sucks but um, lovely set, lovely looking miniatures, um, really really nice poses and you can, you know, it includes 24 page um, codexes, a bit like what they did with um, Legio Custodes and Sisters of Silence, they had the miniature kind of codexes in with, uh, um, I think it was Talons of the Emperor um, set uh, so that you could use them in games of 40k and it's similar to this you can use these kill teams uh, these miniatures in 40k they've got their own little uh, kind of codexes to use them in, in 8th edition and they're lovely looking uh, miniatures as well 80 pounds isn't too bad either um, anyway so that's the new kind of pre-order this week uh, this weekend kill team road trader and um, you've still got the black library weekend ticket still there 75 pounds a lot of money um, but uh, I think it's for both days at the Nottingham Belfry Hotel. Um, so you can go meet uh, most of, if not all, of the, the Black Library uh, authors and get all your books signed and things. Um, and the other thing that's on pre-order is this Cyaphus Kane Omnibus collection. Uh, £40.98, but you do get three whopping great big uh, books there. And then you get these Warhammer um, miniatures for... Uh, Pre-order these made to order or separately. Like this one's thirty-seven pounds fifty. Uh, Thoric Iron Bro Iron Brow is uh, thirty-five. Then you've got King Lewin Leon Quer. I can't pronounce some of these names. You've got Ludwig Schwarzhelm um, and Kurt Helborg, uh, the Fey Enchantress, and is it Te Tehen Tehen Huyhuaun? Now oh, I don't, I can't even pronounce that. Um, and then you've got the uh, Savior of the Imperium paperback book uh, to pre-order itself. You've also got uh, Warhammer Chronicles and the Key of Infinity audio drama as well. Um, Box Sotil pre-order ten pounds and the dice. I do like the Geller Pox infected dice; they're pretty cool. And obviously the Blood Bowl um, dice is, uh, are awesome too. You've got the. Uh, Kacharadron's Outer Dark um, in paperback this time uh, novel and that's about it and obviously White Dwarf obviously came out I think um, yesterday or even today but I've already done a review of that um, and hoping you enjoyed that issue. That issue uh, had was a big big um, focus on the, the new Kill Team set, the new Rogue Trader set and I think if you haven't already joined in to, to Kill Team, I think this is a, another great set to um, start off with, um, other than the, the one that they released with the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus and the uh, Gene Stealer, mm. which is out of stock. This one here, Adeptus Titanicus, the Adeptus Mechanicus, and it was the Gene Stealer calls. Excellent. So with those and the Tooth and Claw set, you've actually got Quite a, and all the, the scenery as well, you've actually got quite a big um, GC the Court army now. Uh, but yeah, that's out of stock online, which sucks. Hopefully, Rogue Trader uh, won't be out of stock. Um, hopefully, they've made enough uh, of those sets compared to the, the original Kill Team set. It's a very good time to uh, get into Kill Team uh, with the announcement of this, this Rogue Trader set. And it's great that Games Workshop have made those miniatures usable in the 41st millennium. I wouldn't really expect anything less really from them. Anyway, that's pretty much it for all of the uh, news and pre-orders this week. Um, put it in the comments below uh, what you're most looking forward to. Uh, as always, it'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.